What's up you guys, it's Jason with RPM and today we're sitting here with the Can-Am Maverick R carbon high flow intake. This thing is a work of art. We're talking silicone, floral lined, four ply, port matched, like obviously carbon fiber, massive intake, a huge SMB eight ply dry filter, 6061 billet mounts. This is the highest end like the craziest quality products that you can put on your Maverick car right here. So let's dive into some details on this intake, but guys, look at that, crazy. All right guys, jumping to it, this intake wasn't just built overnight. As a matter of fact, we actually had a full intake designed just, just moments away from going to full production and KDM released their four seater. And um, our intake is so big there was actually some clearance issues with that. So we kind of had to put it on halt for a few months while we redesigned around the four seater, scrapped some of our very expensive molds for our carbon intake, and we started over from scratch. That means all new flow data, all new dyno testing, everything. With that being said, this wasn't just a one and done intake. There was so much testing, engineering, flowing that was done on this that, uh, we're super excited to finally be able to offer it to you guys because we don't just think, we know that this is the best Maverick R intake on the market. Something I want to cover is the way that we pull the intake above the intercooler. There's a couple of things there. Our intake, as it comes through the firewall above the intercooler, is five inches. The factory one is an oval and it's this shape. Our intake is this shape. We provide this jig for you to drop into that firewall piece. You're gonna remove super easy. We have installation instructions on the website already. You line up your hole saw drill bit. If you don't have one, we offer them as an add-on piece, super affordable when you buy the intake. The hole saw drill bit drops in here, it aligns itself, cuts a perfect five inch circle. And again, if you're running any other intake on the market that goes through the factory firewall as an oval, this is what you're missing out on. It's just an insane difference of how much more air volume the RPM carbon intake can flow. Once you've got that done, we're gonna come up here and look at this 6061 two-piece billet mount. There's a lot of intakes on the market for the X3 platform and other models that we've seen, and they all use like sheet metal, bent sheet metal to hold the intake. And we're like, nah, yeah. yeah. This isn't a cheap intake system. We're gonna build it right. 6061 billet, it was a no brainer for us. So that's your mount. That's what holds the whole intake system into place. Moving on to the air filter, we teamed up with SMB and we're like, we need a large volume air filter that doesn't cover a ton of the intercooler. And this is what we ended up with. This air filter is massive. It is a conical shape. So great intake air velocity coming out of this sucker as it's pulling in air. It's an eight ply dry extendable air filter. You can blow it out from the inside out, so it's reusable. We also offer very affordable replacement air filters on our website. Paired with that is an RPM hydrophobic pre-filter. Goes over the air filter. This blocks all of your large debris, your sand, sticks, leaves, all the big dust particles. Kind of a pre-filters, because that's what it is, a pre-filter, the air filter. Dropping down here, we've got stainless worm gear clamps, and these aren't just any typical worm gear clamp. Let me show you what I mean by that. These have a stainless ring on the inside. It makes for very equal distribution of pressure across the silicone. And then of course, you've got your heavy duty uh, worm gear clamp inside of that. Moving on from there, you've got your silicone coupler. This is what goes to the turbo, it isolates. This is for if you're not running a catch can. On these intakes, you don't have to. You don't have to run a catch can. We do highly recommend that you run a catch can. To put all that work into a nice intake like this, you should be running a catch can to uh, compound those gains. That's the construction of it. Obviously, as you can see and we discussed, she's a big girl. It fits in the stock location where your factory intake pulled in air. We're coming through that hole, floating above the intercooler, and um, this clears the factory roof scoops if you're running one two seat, four seat models, it clears them all. So we uh, built it as big as we could, as much air volume as we could, we made sure our air velocity is where we wanted it. We were doing exactly what we wanted, removed any harsh radiuses out of the intake. And um, 
this was it. This was the final result. We're super proud of it. When we were testing our, our intakes and our air filters and stuff, we were down in Baja. We ran multiple air filters. Uh, we, we had a pretty good idea from pre-testing that we were gonna be sticking with the SMB one. We're gonna drop a few pictures in the comments. We had two air filters. So we ran in Baja through the nastiest, dustiest, siltiest, that fine Baja sill is what we were looking for. And that's what we found when we were down there. And we just pounded over and over and re-ran them sections, just how much dust, They're chasing other cars, to be right up on them. How much dust can we feed this air filter before it becomes an issue? Uh, the answer is we never found the limit, but we found out that we can pack this air filter full of dirt, silt, that sea silt, those guys running those Baja beaches. We did a ton of testing in Baja. It's my favorite place to go. It's my favorite place to test because you get all the craziest conditions. Here's some photos of the air filter. And you can see that after it was clogged, as bad as it was, there was no dust that got by it. All right, guys, so as far as gains on this, it's hard to be like one number. This is what you'll gain because there's so many different tunes, bigger turbos, what fuel you're on, who's tuned. But we found the tune that we're using on the Wayland tune, we're seeing about seven to 8% gains, no matter which tune of theirs that we float around or what we do to make that manipulate, turbo size, any of that stuff. The percentage stays about the same. So wherever you think you're at for horsepower, you tack on another seven to eight and a half ish percent, that's about where you'll be. There's a ton of limiting factors that go on with that. And we're not here to lie and give you some crazy inflated numbers that say, you know, you have to run this, you know, 85 millimeter turbo on fucking jet fuel to get these gains. You're gonna see them. Yeah, well, it's not the truth. We're trying to keep it realistic. So those are the realistic gains that we've consistently been seeing. This intake isn't new. We've had it on tons of race cars already. Tons of guys in the dyno testing them. Tons of guys with stock tunes, bigger turbos from Wayland. You know, everyone's out there doing their own thing. And that's what we've seen. So this intake from RPM was a complete kit. Everything you need is included. Every nut, bolt, clamp, zip tie, anything you need, it comes with our kit. So you can buy it with complete confidence. We've got a lifetime warranty on the construction of it. You can buy affordable replacement air filters. And yeah, I think we'll let the quality speak for itself there. We've laid out the billet stuff, the carbon, floral line, silicone. We're not just running any typical nuts and bolts that you can just buy anywhere on these kits. This is all well thought out, well engineered product from RPM and uh, we're excited to offer it to you guys. You can pick them up, rpmsidebyside.com. If you got questions, reach out to us, drop a comment. We're here to help.